Hello, this is Sanjay Singh and in this video I am going to tell you how to use reference group. For that purpose I have created two tables. One is parent table and another is child table. And I have created three fields here. One is parent ID, parent name, parent city and also I have created uh, an alternate key and I have set that alternate key property here with uh, replacement key here so when uh, a developer set a re replacement key property here uh, it the system uh, automatically print that <coughs> field into auto identification group now I have um, created another table child table here I'll also use three fields child ID name and city and created one um, alternate key and I have assigned that replacement key with that key so it will automatically populate this key field into auto identification group you can see here now i'm going to create one relation based on surrogate key so i have here copy the table name here and use relation name as parent table and table name is parent table I have set here cardinality this one okay now right click on the property new and here I have choose primary key based relation so it will automatically create field here in this table that is int 64 and now I am going to use this table in child form. So here simply drag and drop that table in data source. Now I have set property insert if empty no. And then in design and create. Simply drag and drop fields here in grid. Now you can see the reference group here. The IDE automatically create reference group in place of parent table field that is int 64 and it it is replaced by the replacement key that is a natural key. So you can see here the relation between the reference group, replacement key and auto identification group. Now I am going to set this grid property to data source. After this, okay. Now I'm going to create uh, records in parent table. So Now I am going to open, yeah, I am opening this form and create new, you can see here in the field is populated with a replacement key. Thank mm -hmm. you.
here the level is not set so you uh, were so it shows as reference there in form now you can see the new level here if you personalize and go to query you can see it uh, this form is automatically join the parent data source here in query so if any user uh, developer want to see multiple parent table field in this form so he can simply use form reference group so here you can simply drag parent table and drop here and you can see the join is always outer join for this type of relation and so I'm now going to use this field in our design so simply drag and drop required field here now you can see here if you select any parent id uh, all other related parents fields are also populated and it's not editable it's for display purpose and user can also filter on parent table fields now you can filter on parent table field here so it is more than that of display method so that's all about the reference group and